My name is Jennifer Gunji Balzu, and I'm the director of Japan House, and we're inside of Japan House in our main educational room. The founder of the original Japan House was Professor Shozo Sato, and he really started by just teaching. But what he was recognizing was it was very important to involve the community. And in fact, the invitation for the community to be more actively interested or participatory was one of his goals、um, when he first came here. How do we engage the community? Invite them to an open house. And we have continued that tradition ever since. So, tea ceremony here at Japan House, it's really the reason why we exist. And the way of tea is so important to the Japanese culture because it's an umbrella. It's an umbrella to so many different traditional Japanese arts. And we can start with architecture, interior design, garden design, because you always have a garden surrounding a tea house. And it's very important for guests to go through the tea garden first before they enter and have tea. And this becomes a part of the whole ceremony, if you will, or the whole process, if you will. It's about letting go and entering into a quiet space to become mindful of what you're doing. The four principles of tea ceremony are wake, sei, jaku harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. And those are the four basic pillars of the way of life. We have to have harmony with self in order to have harmony with others, with the environment, with our community. How do you do that? Through respect. You have to respect yourself first to respect others, to respect the environment and the community. How does that happen? Purity. Purity is not so much about spirituality, but it's about a genuineness, a sincerity that comes from within. You can't be, you can say, oh, I respect you, but if you don't mean it, it's not coming from a pure place. So let's hone in on those three principles. And we do that, and then what can we attain? Tranquility or peace. And that's what we all yearn for. Although I teach tea and I share the way of tea with so many people, I really want to be contributing positively to humanity and sharing those four principles so that we can carry those every day in our life and not just in the tea room. Whatever we do, it's all about volunteers. And it's not just student volunteers, which we are very grateful for, like APO and other student organizations, but it's people within the community. These gardens exist because of Mr. James Beyer. He donated all of this, all of his time, all of the materials, everything. And he just did it because this was his love. And so that's where Japan House becomes this unbelievable space of volunteerism. We would not exist without the support of this community. What we do is not for recognition. It's just because we really believe in it and we want to provide、um, experiences and exposure and、um, opportunities for people to、um, see a different culture, see the sakura, participate in tea, come to our festival, anything. It's just about opening your eyes up to other cultures so that we become a little bit more open and accepting to other people. My cousin, Who is a priest? He came to the 20th anniversary of Japan House of five years ago, and he did the fire burning ceremony and blessed all of us. He, when he was leaving, he said he couldn't believe that he found the true Japanese mind, heart, and spirit, which is kokoro, here in the Midwest in Champaign Urbana. He said every person that he interacted with, every person that he met, Were so kind that he couldn't believe it. And he went back to Japan and he shared that with everybody. And the following year I went, and when I was interacting with all these people in the community, it's getting me all emotional.、Um, they kept saying, Kosho san said he found Japanese kokoro in Urbana. And it was just wonderful to hear. It was, it, and that, I think that goes to show you what kind of community we live in.